Good evening, my test subjects, and welcome back to another game that we will be doing today called I Einlight Lanzer. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the name of a sword from uh, Chrono Cross. <laughs> Actually, uh, well, well, yeah, it's a sword. Even though uh, I did like some research, and it means like a lance, but a lance isn't quite a sword. Maybe if uh, it had less of a lengthy handle, maybe it would be. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be playing this game. kind of came out recently. I decided I should make some videos on it, because I like games like this. I like old school RPGs. JRPGs, for that matter. Anyway, there ain't going to be any face cam on this video, because this game doesn't really support widescreen, so it kind of stretches this camera. And having like a 4x3 camera kind of looks weird. <laughs> it makes me look super weird. Alright. Anyway, let's just do a new game. <laughs> uh, Alright. Yeah. Choose your difficulty. Alright, so you can really play easy mode. I won't do that. I'm going on an adventure! Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was like the Hobbit right there. Einlander, created by Nostalgia Attic Games. Go visit their website if you'd like. It is recommended that you use a PC or Steam controller for this game. I will be using a Steam controller because if I use my keyboard, y'all will hear so much clicking because I have the Razer loudspeaker. <laughs> it's pretty much what it is, I swear. Alright, I truly hope you enjoy this game. The great JRPGs of the 90s like Final Fantasy IV and VI, Chrono Trigger were a huge part of my childhood. It was my mission to recreate the sense of wonder, adventure, and story that was present in those games. I truly hope you enjoy playing Einzelander as much as I enjoyed creating it. Let the journey begin. See, when I was younger, I tried using like like these game engines like, like Unity and stuff like that to try and uh, make games that were similar to this because it was like my favorite and I thought it'd be, it was kind of like the easiest to do really is make games th in this fashion because the graphics are not as awesome and you can do it by yourself pretty easily. Like, okay, it's the holy sword that uh, something about sword bearers. <laughs> it is said to be able to slay the gain power from pure evil. The Einlander has not left the sword bearer temple in hundreds of years. It is said that the Einlander was once responsible for banished Vlalik, <laughs> the godly beast, back to the depths where he came. However, the Einlander is now rusted, dull artifact. It is hard to believe the legend seeing it now. Victor, a young man, raises a berserker, has joined the sword bearers. After being orphaned, he has found a new family among the sword bearers. Victor is currently on duty to guard the Einlander. It is his first time in the most important position directly next to the Einlander. Though sword bearer Temporal has never been successfully attacked in hundreds of years, Victor would be the last line of defense if such an attack should happen. Whoa, the music kinda got crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get attacked because I mean there wouldn't be like a whole like plot being built if uh, this sword wasn't you know stolen. <laughs> Those are commands, advanced attacks. Interact with things. Press A for Steam Controller. I'm proud to be guarding the Einlander, but man, this is a long shift. I'm practically falling asleep on my feet. Hey Finn. What's up, Victor? How much longer are we on guard duty? Uh, 20 minutes. Okay, not much longer. What am I going to do after this? Hey, Abel. I don't know if that's a man or a female. I don't know what voice I should give him. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna assume it's a dude. Yeah, yes. Want to work on our swordsmanship again after our work after our shift? Heh, <laughs> you're just itching to get even better, aren't you? Yeah, when I have a challenge, it is hard for me to get it off my mind. Want to meet in the courtyard sparing arena? Sure! I know you'll get the new technique this time. Just let me get some food with my beautiful wife first. Hey, Bo! I am a paladin on duty. Your compliments are appreciated, but yours is not the appropriate time for them. So serious all the time. It's a wonder why we work so well as husband and wife. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder the same thing. What? Hey! You said it first, Hattie. So sleepy. 
you know, can't in the love. Ah, z <laughs> This is gonna stay awake. Ugh. Shit. Victor. <clears throat> Behind lines are Valk gaining. See your fate. Victor, we have appointed you to be the arbiter over this great decision. Have you made up your mind? Will we allow the three gods of our world to continue living? Our choice means eternal struggle, but the gods live. The other means peace, but with the murder of the gods on your conscience for the rest of your life. I have made my decision. Go ahead, Victor. It is your decision to make, Victor. Give us the decree of all creation. I have decided. Mm. Cannot fight forever. The gods must be killed. <laughs> all right. Uh. Hmm. This is our fate to fight. Uh, I guess. I guess I'll kill the gods. I cannot doom our children to fight for the rest of eternity. The three gods of our world must be destroyed. Vic! You're asleep while standing! What? No, I... <laughs> I've never seen someone asleep while standing before. Use me, Victor! Oh, what? <laughs> you are out. Just own it. Anyway. We had something outside. It's probably just a wandering monster. What the heck was that? Oh, we're being attacked. Rector, stop. What? Someone's in trouble? I need... You need to stay here. You are the last line of defense. But... But nothing. This is your duty. Guard the Ironlander with your life. But my friends are outside. No. Abel's right. My duty is with the Ironlander. Oh, he's getting whacked. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> oh, shit. He looks funny. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. Like the cult is coming in. Dude, they're like wearing black, but the guy in the picture is wearing white. Ugh, <laughs> it's uh, funny. Give us the Iron Lancer. Stand aside, or we will move you by force. Mmm, by force. I I am a sword bearer. You know I will defend the Iron Lancer until my last dying breath. Dying breath. Then you have made the choice. Gah. It is ours. It is ours. Yep, it's yours. We have it. Let us go. Let us go. Somebody likes to repeat the same thing. <laughs> is that he's that one guy who's like like the leader's like, let's go. And the the guy who likes to repeat everything. Let's go. <laughs> I I have failed. I am not fit to be a sword bearer. Well, you didn't even fight back, dude. For the first time in hundreds of years, the Ironlander has been lost. Unknown assailants with incredibly strong magic invaded Swordbearer Temple and took the Ironlander. After the loss of the Ironlander, the Swordbearers scattered across the land to search for it. Any clues about its whereabouts or about the mysterious assailants? Due to his shame at not being able to defend the Ironlander, Victor has shed the Swordbearer title and gone into self-imposed exile from the Order. After wandering and being a sword for hire for weeks, Victor finds himself near the small town of Seabreeze. Mmm, Seabreeze, that's a nice name. Alright, if you're using the Steam controller, move with the left thumbstick. I got one of those. Okay, dash it down and do all that good stuff. Sweet, what is the Y button? Uh, 
some dash your B. Ah, the town of Seabreeze. What a nice little ocean town. I shall write about my time here in my journal. You have an item in your key items called Victor's Journal. It automatically updates during your adventure as to where you are headed. If you ever get lost or forget what your objective is, check the journal in the key items and it should steer you in the correct direction. Don't forget about it. All right, cool. Oh, okay, Oops. just leave right away. I was wondering, because there was like a house right here on the edge of the world. You like move down into it, or is this house like, oh, look at that little girl, oh shit. Tag, you're it. Oh, she's good. Oh, she's really good. Hey, get out of the way, douchebag. <laughs> oh, you're screwed. Oh, hey, why'd you do that? Come back. Shit. Damn, she's so good. Oh, oh yeah, I can dash. No, you got me. <laughs> My turn. You got one second to run, and I'm coming after you. Oh, you're... S oh, yeah, you can't catch me. Ah, that bitch blocked you. <laughs> the innkeeper sometimes has jobs for adventures. You should go ask him for a drink and talk. Thanks. Girl, I'm, I'm done with you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, you look like an adventurer. Remember to cure yourself with an antidote if you ever get poisoned. Be hurt even out of battle until it's cured. Hmm. I see, I see. Dude, she looks stupid. <laughs> I'm psychic. So far you've defeated zero enemies. I'm not very experienced yet. Keep fighting and get stronger. Well, hello there, adventurer. I don't look it now, but I once traveled all over this world fighting monsters and gathering treasures. I could probably teach you a thing or two. Do you have any questions about anything? Sure, general info. No questions about that. Ooh, yeah, how do I save? You can save your game anywhere. Save often so you, will have to, so you will not have to replay areas if your party is defeated. Okay, cool. Let's learn about items and equipment. There are many items. I can do a variety of things. Look at the description in the shop to see what each does. Not all characters can equip all kinds of equipment. For example, some armor is too heavy for mages to wear. Every character can equip every accessory, though. Okay. That's good to know. Field world map. Hold the B button to dash around. This gets you places much faster. You cannot dash in the world map because each square represents a large area. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. Press A on various objects and you're sitting around. You never know what you will find in a random barrel. Crates, pots, stack of logs, etc. Every time you reach a new location, it's wise to check everything you can find. There are never any hidden objects like this on the world map. Also in the world map, keep your eyes peeled for secret locations. Not every lo location is more required to go through the progress of the story, so search around for extra places to explore. Lastly, you may get a map of the world soon, or you might already have it. The world map will always be in your key items inventory. Don't forget about it. Alright, advice. Always, always, always have a stock of tents, potions of life, and dispel herbs. Nothing is more frustrating than running out of those three items. Even if you have a priest or a priestess in your party that can cure those status effects. They might be a bit too much gold for you now, but as soon as you can, stock up on each. Also, to get more money, you can sell old unwanted gear at every shop. Just don't sell anything that you're going to regret later. Combat. RP and MP. What's, what's RP? RP stands for Rage Points. You gain Rage Points during various things during the battle. Basic action is attacking and defending. Build RP. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. RP is cool. I don't need to learn anything else. Wait, what was the what was the last option besides uh, combat status effects? Okay. That's pretty self-explanatory in most games. I simply love the beach, don't you? I fucking hate the beach. It's, I hate sand. It's coarse, it's rough, grainy, and it gets everywhere. Nah, I never really liked the ocean. How could you not like the ocean? Sheesh! Alright, this looks like the item shop. Ooh, wonder if I can loot this. It's a free sample, sir. Uh, go ahead and take it. Loot an antidote. Sweet. Thank you. How can I help you? I recommend getting a couple antidotes. A lot of creatures in this area cause poison. Okay, a couple antidotes then. Oh, not seven, do that. Two. <laughs> Alright, so potion of life. Covers ally from faint status. Ooh. Very expensive though. 
eventually they may not become as expensive. Okay. Well then, I guess that's pretty much it. I'll get out of here. The start button, maybe? Okay, yeah. Stay safe! I loot this. Dorn. I would have gotten more than a free sample. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Hey, there's a potion in this bucket. Yeah, the game did tell me to like search everything, like logs and everything. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm mean, gonna check that dude's flower bed. But there was nothing there. Okay. Did I already talk to you? Innkeeper sometimes has jobs for adventures. You could go ask him for a drink and talk. Okay. I will. We'll go ask him. Innkeeper! This is a really nice inn for how small of a town this is. There's a lot of people in here. Wow. Can I get you anything? Have a seat at the table if you like. Key. Okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Man, dwarves sure snore loud, hey? Welcome to town, young adventure. Have a drink and relax. You should save often. Also, it is encouraged to save to a different save file every once in a while in case you get stuck or make a mistake. Whoa, I was like walking through that guy. Oh, what? Who's there? Buy me a drink, will ya? Oh, it was because he was like switching his uh, location. Hello there, Dedra. You're new in town. Yeah. You looking for a nice bed for the night or just a drink? <sighs> just a drink. A drink would be nice, thank you. Which will it be? Well, it's on the house, if you tell me. What's your business around here is? I love a good chat, see? Alright, I'm a freelancer for now. I used to be with a, uh, warrior group that I had to leave. Now I'm just looking for some jobs to make some gold. You know what, son? I think I might have a job for you. Do you? Let's hear it. The weaponsmith in town makes fairly good armor and weapons for this small town. But he has been unable to make any new items because the cave to the south where he gets his ore has caved in. There's a guard there watching the entrance. You could find a way to get past him and get some ore. I'm sure the weaponsmith would pay you. Yeah, that sounds like a perfect job for me. I'll go talk to him now. Tell him I sent you. He's been a tad grumpy recently. Thank you so much! <sighs> cool. This lizard guy. Get lost, human. Oh god, okay. Uh, that creature over there gives me the creeps. Dude, I know how you feel. Okay. I wonder if any of these tables I can, like, loot. Alright, oh, there's a dude up here. <laughs> drank too much. Wow, that needs to get repaired. <laughs> hey, something old armor. Oh, I got a leather shirt. Damn straight. Okay. Equipment. Victor. Change. Oh, did it auto-equip, or did I already have this? Okay, yeah, it auto-equipped. Nice. I approve, I approve. Alright. Here, I'll put a save down. Oh, did it really save that quickly? Nice. Oh, there's a lot more. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's head on down. This is pretty neat. I like this little town. Mmm. Alright, so... I already forgot my objective. <laughs> Let's, uh, make use of that, uh, uh, whatever it was called. The journal. Where, the, where, where do you say it was again? Like status, maybe? No, why would it be in status? That's, that's like, your character. Uh, probably in items. Key items. Victor's journal, yeah. Let's read it. In the area, see British battle enemies to get stronger and talk to people around town to see if there's any freelance jobs I could do for them. Okay, let's battle some... Some enemies get stronger real quick. But that looks like the, uh... The, uh... Cave I need to go into. Mm. Okay. Alright, well... Wait, is this how combat works? Okay. <laughs> I was assuming, like... Oh, jeez. Looks like a, a bat thing, and... 
Maybe a slime. Oh yeah, slime and imp, okay. Let's, let's kill the slime first. And we start off with a good amount of health, don't we? Tried to cast Confuse, but I was like, no. 14 experience and 18 gold. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. It seems like the, uh... The battle screens are, uh... Not as common as in most, uh... Games like this. Which is pretty cool. Oh, I've been confused. Oh, does that make my turn end? They really like casting their abilities. <laughs> Nest. Man, these I want to at least level up to level two. How much experience do I need to do that? Mm. Oh, probably like one more battle. <laughs> Sweet. Let's do it. One more battle. Ugh. Game grinding. Ah, oh, darn, I wish this was on, like, the GBA emulator, where you just, like, speed shit up. <laughs> like, like make it, like, a thousand percent speed and just, like, grind the shit out of the game. Oh, dude, it's so easy to level up that way. <laughs> like, you can seriously like, get ten levels higher than what you really need to be. Because you just get so powerful. I'm now level two. I got I learned how to recklessly attack things. Let's try that out. I wonder what Reckless Attack does. Oh, come on. I want to get into battle. <laughs> yeah, I I'm going to be cutting out all the all the grinding and stuff that I'm, I'm going to be doing. So, uh, you guys won't, won't see that type of stuff. It's... Oh, I didn't realize how low of life I was. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Uh, that's not good. Well, I, I already got game over. Do, do I have to start over from the save, or do I, like, return to town or something like that? Oh, I do. I start over from the save. Oh, dude, I'm glad I saved. I would have to start over. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I think this is a good wrapping up point for this episode. If you guys enjoyed me playing this game and me dying at the very end, <laughs> let me know. Leave a like. Leave a comment and subscribe if you have not. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. And remember, stay hypnotized. <laughs>